Hey y'all, welcome if you're new and if not, welcome back. My name is Michelle. I'm married and I have five kids. Only three of them are left at home though and so we are a family of five which means I have quite a bit of cleaning motivation for you. These videos actually motivate me probably more than they motivate you but that's okay. We can motivate each other. So if you have some housework to get done, get up and do it with me or you can just watch me and then get up and do yours after. That's what I do. I watch a good video. gets me really motivated to get up and get moving and then I do just that. I get up and do what I gotta do. So if you like this kind of content, give this video a thumbs up. That lets me know that you like these videos and if you haven't already subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Do y'all allow slime in your house? I've never been a huge fan of it, but I'm not that much against it. You see this plate? Bo was over there making slime, so he had quite the mess going on. So one time in the comments, I had somebody tell me that I let the water run too long while I'm rinsing my dishes and that I really don't need to rinse them to put them in the dishwasher. But my dishwasher is not made for that. I have to rinse them off. If I put any dishes in there with food on them, it will probably not come off. And if it does, it's just going to be in the bottom of my dishwasher. Um, 
you know, I don't have like a disposal type of dishwasher. I mean, I don't know. I just have a plain dishwasher. But I saw another YouTuber that I watch. I think her channel is Maria's Mom Life. And if I can remember, I will link her channel down in the description box below. But she rinses all of her dishes first and then stacks them in the dishwasher. And I'm trying to implement that because it really does save water, you know, turning it off while you're putting them in in the dishwasher. Last year for Christmas, Aubrey got baking stuff because she wants to learn to be in the kitchen. And so we had used her tips for the first time ever to decorate cupcakes for my niece's birthday party over the weekend. So that's what I was cleaning with the little brush that comes with it. So the night before I filmed this video, I had fried some chicken strips and I had bought some boneless skinless chicken breasts that I just trimmed down and then cut into strips and fried that for DJ because that's what he had been after me to make for a couple of weeks and um i was making milk gravy like the packet milk gravy country gravy to go over our mashed potatoes and to dip our chicken in and it overflowed like it bubbled over onto my stove and then i wasn't done cooking so it just kind of cooked on there for a while but later on you'll see me clean it with the the scotch bright it's like sponges, scrubber sponges that are made especially for the top of glass top stove. So here you're going to see me clean that off with just water. 
Now, after I clean this, I do go back with some um, soft scrub. I have the glass top stove cleaner, the Wyman brand, I think it is. I had said Wiseman in another video, but it's Wyman, I guess, or Weeman. I don't know. Anyway, point is, I do have that, but this time I used my lemon scented soft scrub because I just love the smell of that. But um, right here, all this is is water, and it, it scrubbed that stuff right off. It came pretty clean, and I really didn't have much... I didn't have much faith in this product because I had tried it before and it I felt like it didn't really do anything maybe I didn't add water that time I don't know but anyway I had seen these on another youtubers channel um, Jamie's journey and so of course I ran out and bought them and at first I was like Meh. but this time um, I did like it and so I do recommend it and I will include my um, link in, it's not my link, it is the link to buy it, but it is an affiliate link, which doesn't cost you anything extra if you shop on affiliate links, just in case you didn't know that. But anyway, yeah, enjoy this stove top cleaning. So you see all of those dishes sitting there on that blue dish mat? Those have all already been rinsed and ready to go in the dishwasher. The day before this, we had bad weather. I think it literally was across the country. Um, here in Louisiana, there were tornadoes. Thankfully, we were spared and didn't have anything too, too rough. But we did lose power. 
And so I was able to get, um, from the beginning of this video, you saw me doing this and I was able to get one load running and then I had continued on rinsing. That way I could reload it when it was done, but the power went out and so when it came back on i did finish that first load but i never did get around to this second load so here we are the next morning and i am picking up where i left off first thing that's what i'm doing now i did have to reset the clocks throughout my house the kids are getting ready for school and i am cleaning the kitchen What do you think of ASMR videos? I like them, but I don't go searching them out. So I thought I would leave a little bit of that in here. Um, honestly, it is never quiet enough in my house to be able to do this. And it's because I just don't think about it. You know, there's either a TV going or my phone. I'm watching YouTube. But I'm going to try to be more mindful and put some more of that in here for y'all.
So the dishwasher is running. That's why it's a little extra loud. But I thought this was a good time as any to try and put in some ASMR because kids were gone and apparently the TV was turned down or something. I don't know. So the gallon of milk next to the sink. I've never had this happen to me before, but it started leaking. So this is what my crazy self did. I had done a Walmart pickup order with two gallons of milk, but I forgot from the time that I placed the order to the time that I was going pick up the order. And I was running back inside of Walmart because I had a few other things that I needed to grab. And I thought to myself, well, I forgot to put milk on the pickup order because when I made the pickup order, you know, when I placed it, I still had milk, so I thought I didn't have any milk, and I bought two gallons of milk, so I ended up with four gallons of milk. So I put two gallons in the freezer, and when we were down to about two-thirds or maybe a half a gallon in the icebox, I took a gallon out of the freezer. Well, then we noticed that it was just like overflowing or something in the the ice box. We didn't know if it was busted or overflowing. We didn't know what was happening. So I took it out so that it could thaw a little better so that I could put it into a different container in case the milk jug was busted. So that's why it was sitting there on the counter. And what it actually did was pushed the lid completely off like I mean it was still on the gallon but it was not screwed on it's like it just pushed it up and that frozen milk was just rising up out of the top like have you ever frozen um a carbonated drink and then when you unscrew it the ice comes out of the top like it just come, starts coming out that's what my milk was doing
Yep, I did that. I was going to open the drawer, I believe, but my thumb got caught on a spoon. I could not remember what I was talking about right here and neither could my husband. So I literally had to go back, slow down the tape, turn up the volume. And what it was is that in the kids bathroom, there is this rack that stands like behind the toilet with their towels and stuff. And I don't know, it's flimsy, I guess it doesn't stand up straight. It's like, I don't know, but I had used some, um, like mounting tape to stick to the legs of this thing at the top so it's not really the legs but you know the the shelf itself I had stuck the mounting tape on there and stuck it against the wall and this mounting tape is strong I, I've hung pictures with it I've hung other stuff on the wall with it well <sighs> eventually it did end up pulling away from the wall and my husband was talking about well sheetrock anchors and I was like there isn't any anchors it's up there with mounting tape and it's then pulled away from the wall so that's why my arms were going like that y'all I had to figure out what we were talking about because I couldn't remember that's sad but anyway this is going to be the end of this video I hope that it motivated you to get up and get some stuff done. Um, I know I always feel better once I get up and start because we know, or at least I know for me, the hardest part is getting up and getting started. Pick one small thing to get done, you know, some junk drawer. Um, sometimes for me, it's literally just picking up the things that don't belong in a certain room. So like if the kids get home from school and they dump their book sacks, just getting up, putting the stuff back where it goes. And then it's kind of like a snowball effect. And then I just start going. But I have like AD, ADD 
cleaning or ADHD cleaning. So I will start in one room and I'm like a pinball machine. I'll start in one room and I'm bouncing from one room to the next. It's, I say that it's why I hardly ever finish anything, <laughs> but that is just how I clean. I've always been that way and I'm guessing I probably always will. So anyway, like I was saying, I hope this video motivated you. If you haven't already and you're new here and you like this kind of content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads, and leave me a comment letting me know where you're watching from. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.